And we're off and at the races. Kimberly versus Chris Dickinson. Nine months in the making. That's how long it takes to make a baby. But in this case, that's how long it takes to make some hate. Rob Naylor, what's up? Ding, ding, ding. This one is underway in a grand fashion. Kimberly taking it to Chris Dickinson right now. One of the fiercest females in all of wrestling, and she is showing us right now exactly why taking the fight to this man. And on top of that, she always likes to let people know she is a wrestler. Gender doesn't even have anything to do with it. And as you can saw, I know you've probably seen it yourself, it went viral all over the internet when she was Pazuzu bombed violently by Chris Dickinson. It brought up a lot of a lot of speculation about how to handle separate genders, intergender wrestling. It really, it really pushed a lot of boundaries, and now we're about to push them a little harder with this main event. This young lady and paid for the sins of that violent act, and you know what? I think she is a credit to her gender in every which way, and she is a tough young lady, and she is taking the fight. Oh no, look at that, I was, oh! Shot to the back right there. Like, Chris this Dickinson, said he's got at least hundreds of pounds on this young lady, but she will continue to fight, as we saw earlier. Scaling pretty much a 16-foot balcony here. And look at her bringing the fight to Dickinson here, Shugs. Now, this is going to be definitely an interesting style because I'm telling you right now, if she's trying to go strike for strike with Chris Dickinson, it's just not a good idea. He feeds off that kind of stuff. He loves that kind of stuff. He eats that kind of stuff for breakfast. Kimberly's going to have to be, have to be cunning. She's going to have to think on her feet. That's what it's going to take. Dickinson trying to get away over the bar right now. She is straight kicking his ass over toward the bar. No disrespect, Mr. Dickinson. <laughs> Do not Pazuzu bomb me later on. Look at that. Astutely going after the kneecap, driving it against that very unwieldy area of the bar. Do you think that Kimberly's been in a bar fight or two? I'm gonna go with yes. It's looking like it. This is some roadhouse stuff right now. Protect the liquor. That's all I know. What's up, Swayze? As now they are just going all over. As there it is, Chris Dickinson asserts control and smashes Kimberly's face in that very unforgiving ring apron. And I'm gonna tell you, he's definitely good for that. Chris Dickinson loves to play with his food, and that's what he's doing right now with Kimberly. Oh, boot to the stomach, chop to the chest, but now look at this! Oh. Rapid fire right now. Oh. oh my God, this thing right here, I'll tell you what, Billy Jean King and John McEnroe style, so I make a dated reference here, but I'm telling you, it's it's very accurate. You can look it up on Google, kids. As now, that's how we're doing our references now, they just gotta Google it later if they don't catch it. Okay. Gooks it, baby, <laughs> I'm all in the abreeves as well. As now, Kimberly. Uh, what's going on? What's Overhand going on shots, look at that. Fans, what an assisting bunch of wonderful humans we have here. Good high Fed. kick by Kimberly. Now she's putting the chairs in. And as far as I'm concerned, from what I've been told, it's it's anything goes, there has to be a winner in this match. Uh-oh. Oh, wait a minute. You just mentioned the bar room, buddy. It's about to go down. I've been here many a time before. There's the match the officially starts now. This ain't the Necro goddamn Butcher, this is Kimber goddamn Lee, and she just basically said, hey, Chris Dickinson, let's do this shit, and here we go. This ain't good housekeeping either, bro. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! Somebody better have somebody's money by the end of this sequence. That's all I know. Ooh. Oh! I don't think Chris Dickinson enjoyed that game. He changed the tempo up. Almost a Tajiri-esque head kick right there. The way he just took her head off her shoulders. And I think it's safe to say, Chris Dickinson is mad. He certainly is. Now look at this. Tiger suplex, perhaps. 
Chicken wings, the arms, very astute wrestling on Kimberly's part, fighting her way to the apron. Oh no, now look at the dragon. So, oh my God. My God. Dragon suplex, no. I'll tell you this though, I can at least respect Chris Dickinson for bringing the big guns out early. He knows what kind of opponent Kimberly is. All it takes is one alligator clutch or one head kick to end this thing right now. And he does not want to be embarrassed in the finale of Fet Music tonight. This right here is where Kimberly's background in athletics really helps her. Oh no, press slam. Oh my God, just drives her down into the mat. And you see that almost effortlessly by Chris Dickinson. Had her up there, made her think about it a little while before just tossing her away. Kimberly, though, very limber. Great dexterity on this young lady. She can take a beating as now, oh no. Camel clutch. Chris Dickinson making her humble. And now, wait, there's no fight yet. Look at him showing her to every side of the fans. God, he's got to be what deep. What a chauvinist freaking pig this man is. And he's deep into the throat on that as far as it goes. And I mean, even if this was a male opponent that he was going against, he's still being overly cocky. He's still playing with his food, as I like to call it. He's not He's not being, I guess, I guess what I'm getting at is he's not trying to wrestle to win. He's wrestling to punish. And no matter what gender you're at, it's just not a good look. That's just all it is. Oh, no. Look at this. This can't be Kimberly good. Kimberly precariously dangling in the ropes. That's now Dickinson. Leg drop. Shades of Isaac Yankum DDS. Yes. That was a very nice callback. that reference. Very nice saying. callback. And notice when Kimberly kicked out, she made sure that not only when she kicked her shoulder, she rolled over to her stomach. Because as you know, you can't get pinned on your stomach. You cannot. Oh, no, look at that. Kimberly now fighting from the crowd. Oh, oh. God. Shot to the face from Chris Dickinson. This guy is put together. You think he spent some time in the gym? And I know. I believe many, in many circles he is described as a brick shit house. Pretty much. Oh, Falcon Arrow. With the cover. No. Only a two count right there for Chris Dickinson. And, the, and like, he doesn't even look worried. Like, do you see the look on Chris Dickinson's face? He's in firm control. This is how he likes it. But of course, Kimberly, no stranger to the gym herself, training for speed. Her athletic movements in the ring make her not only a top-notch competitor working with the other women throughout the wrestling industry, but with obviously stepping head-to-head -head up with men as well. Oh no, Pazuzu Bob, no! Oh, beautiful defensive wrestling! Huracan Rana right there, she runs in, catches the boots of the face. Here he comes, pushes through. No! Oh, she flipped through! Down on her feet is Kimberly! Ducks the close side. German suplex of her own! Taking out the trash right there. And Dickinson don't know what to do with himself right now. Oh! oh. We no. call that Lariat! We, no. call, we call that where I come from, folding that ass up. That's what happened, okay? Sugar D with the very technical explanation, folding that ass up, Lariat style. Oh, man, Chris you get frisky, get frisky this evening, hey, man. Yo, I like I'm it. I'm just saying, I'll, I, am re I am repeating what you said, and that's it. Mike today repeating Dusty Rhodes. What's up? That's all I got. Oh, shouts to the dream always. Yeah, baby. On. Much love the dream. Forever. Dickinson looking like he's about to go ahead and try to wrap this up in short order. We're going to find out. Dickinson now grabs Kimberly by the hair, face lock. That hair grab alone is enough in Atlanta to go ahead and get you snatched up, though. Like, <laughs> yeah. awesome. The, the hairdressers alone in Atlanta, I'm just letting it be and known. Look, I you don't go after the dude. I've never been to Atlanta. You might need to introduce me to the nightlife. It is the most beautifulest, most ugliest, best place in the it world. It seems like You're a wonderful like place to visit. As now, look at these guys valiantly fighting on the top ropes. Kimberly saying no, shot to the kidneys. Oh my God, both 
competitors, overhand blows. Kimberly now. What she got in mind? Oh no! What? No! What? No way! No! Good Christ! You, can, you can't even call that a cold red. That's a cold scarlet. That's, that's a cold. I don't even know what's that's called. That's a that. straight cold purple. That's now Kimberly. Bam! Beautiful Rana! Snapping that run off like another certain female by the name of Lita, and they're hitting that beautiful, beautiful crescent kick right there. Only getting two. Kimberly has got to keep piecing this offense together if she wants to get the win over Chris Dickinson. Serenity and bam. Fed Finale, and now look at this! Cross arm breaker! And Chris Dickinson not able to clasp the hands. He needs to either lock those, he needs to get those ropes or lock those hands. Otherwise, it's gonna be a snap kind of night. He's gonna snap into it. Oh yeah. Oh no. Chris Dickinson in dire straits. But wait. I think he's gonna try and power his way through. You see oh this my Jesus! Into the buckles now. The great power of Dickinson. He does have the strength advantage, no doubt about that. Ascending the ropes, shaped of his heroes, Rick and Scott Steiner. As now, he's got Kimberly up. Fall away slam, perhaps. Kimberly fighting her way out of it. Chris Dickinson bailing out while he's got the chance and maybe a sound decision. It certainly may be. She will not let up. Raining down, boost to the neck region of Dickinson. Catches it right in the gut with that shoulder block right there. What's Dickinson got in mind? But over! Oh, look at that power. Oh, look no. at that power. Taka Iwa style power ball. Oh, God. Jackknife. Not able to get the jackknife bit of oh. Kimberly though, boot to the back of the head. That's not the kind of kick you want to catch, Naylor, because I want to be perfectly honest with you. You can't catch a kick at that angle. That's it. That's messing with nerves that are at the very base of your spine. That will mess you up. That sends a tingle all the way down to your ankles. There you go. A man has been in the ring. I don't know these things, but thank you for pointing. I don't ever want you to know. Aside from fighting my sister when she kicked my ass in 87, that's all I got. Double boot to the face. Boot averted. Oh, my God. Job and Kiri from Dickinson. Snapping that thing off beautifully. A, a, a cornerstone of his offense. And here comes the high kicks from Kimberly. Series of boots now from Kimberly. Showing she got fight left in her. The rage on this woman. Oh my God. Running Larry and Shades and Terry. Bam, bam. Gordy. And a second. She's throwing them with the best of them. That's got to be like a 7.5 on the Hanson scale, the way she's throwing them fucking Larry's, man. Oh yeah, people. Oh. God. Series of kicks. What the hell is this? Face lock from Chris Dickinson. Anytime Chris Dickinson has got his hands on you, it's one second too long, always. Wow, we got a very angry vocal audience right here at FET. This thing's gonna get nuts. Oh no, Fireman's carry now. Precarious situation for Kimberly. What is happening right now? I am, I am super worried right now. You are worried. I'm goddamn terrified. No way, no way. It looked like an overhead no! power slam, and he just fought her down on there. That was not a good landing whatsoever. Power slam off the top ropes from Chris Dickinson. Innovative offense right here, Sugar Dungerton. He is pulling out all the stops. As now, oh no! Not the Pazuzu bomb. Pazuzu bomb! Named after the demon lord no! of hell. Oh, it's went viral! No! She's still in it. The alligator clutch! Kimberly's top pinning combination gets the win for Chris Dickinson tonight.
threw something. Yeah, I saw that throw it. Like it was that same guy. You threw trash or something on him. Somebody was like, you hit my kid. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's not... 